Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours and the Monday Minutes, and we're going to continue this week with the EMS Quick Study resource here. And this is episode five, or it's also Anatomy and Physiology. This is part three of that. Now, the Anatomy and Physiology section here, guys, is a larger section. It's going to be broken down to nice, small chunks. And today, actually, is a pretty quick uh, session today. But again, I want to point out, guys, this resource here and these videos are really geared for exam prep okay it's sort of like the way you can go and quickly review and quickly sort of refresh your memory on key elements of EMS study okay it's not a replacement for your textbook okay but it is important that you know these key elements because a lot of what I talk about on these quick study guide videos here you'll often see on your exams okay so of course if you are looking at this this resource here and you come across something that you don't understand or you're questioning it or you're not sure quite sure how it applies take the content here go to your textbook and research it read about it and refresh your memory even more okay always okay to help you better understand this content to kind of um, spur you on to study more and to be better at what you're doing as an EMS professional. Okay, so let's get into today. And today is talking about cellular metabolism and respiration. So this is a kind of a quick section here, but it can be a little confusing. So we want to kind of really make it small and, and really kind of zero in on these two little elements here. Okay, so when we talk about the cellular metabolism and respiration, metabolism in uh, in particular, okay, we want to break this all down. Okay, we want to break this down for you here so you understand it. So let's talk about metabolism, right? It's a sort of a combination, right? It's a combination of all of the chemical processes that take place in the body that results in growth, in generation of energy, and elimination of waste, and other bodily functions. Now there are two steps when we talk about metabolism. You get the, uh, the anabolic and the catabolic uh, parts of it, right? And the anabolic, of course, is that constructive or that building phase, right? The smaller to bigger. And the catabolic is also is the, the opposite. That's the destruction or the breakdown phase from larger to smaller, all right? Now, again, guys, real, real breaking this down, okay? Because these two steps are important because this is when we talk about the distribution of nutrients in the blood and things like glucose, amino acids, and fats, all right? So we talk about the smaller to bigger, the larger to smaller, important little elements here. So when you hear about anabol anabolic metabolism or catabolic metabolism, the anabolic phase, what's going on, right? Understand that it's from the small to bigger. You talk about the catabolic phase, you want to talk about the larger to smaller, and we're talking about things like, again, things that distribute those nutrients, all right? The blood, throughout the blood, your, your, you know, your glucose, your, new, your amino acids and fats and things like that, okay? So the other thing we talk about when we talk about energy and metabolism is, of course, the Krebs cycle. Now, this is something that we, you see a lot on exams. You might see this, you know, the Krebs cycle a lot. And we talk about the mitochondria, right? And what this they do, they use those amino, amino acids and the fats to produce the energy. And amino acids can also be used to convert to glucose. Oh, they can be stored in the liver as glycogen and used later on down the, down the road as necessary to raise the blood sugar, okay? So... Key elements here to, re to remember right here, we talk about the mitochondria, we talk about, we talk about um, the Krebs cycle, all right? And, and, and we talk about the production of energy and using those amino acids and those fats, okay? And, and these are sort of like the key elements to keep in mind when you see things like the Krebs cycle and mitochondria and amino acids, okay, and glucose and glycogen when it comes to your exam. Now, if you're not 100% on the whole process about the conversion of glucose and all that good stuff, check it out in your book, okay? Can't get into it in a short little video like this, but I encourage you that this is not making sense to you or it's not ringing any bells from your EMS training, go back and check it out in your, in your, your textbook, 
Okay, or if you're a member of TerraMedic, go into TerraMedic, look at one of the digital textbooks there, and uh, you know, go ahead and look it up and sort of really study and get deeper into this this element. Okay, all right, finally, guys, talk about cellular respiration. All right, again, talk about the mitochondria and how it metabolizes glucose into ATP, into CO2 and H2O. Okay, and you want to keep in mind that because this might be something you see is getting that aerobic, that ATP in an aerobic environment along with oxygen, right? That one glucose becomes 36 to 38 ATP in an aerobic environment, and that's when it's combined with oxygen, okay? So uh, keep this in mind, guys, all right? The glucose into ATP, ATP, CO2, and H2O. Okay, I know this is very sort of very, very general. This is very, very um, uh, uh, basic when we talk about a review, but I don't want to get too much into this stuff because then you, it kind of can branch off into different areas and you start getting too much, too deep into it and it's going to sort of go away from what I'm trying to accomplish with these videos, which are nice, quick uh, highlights of what you might see on an exam. Okay, again, if you don't remember this stuff or this is not ringing a bell for you, Pull out that textbook. If you're a member of TerraMedic, log on to TerraMedic, get one of those digital textbook, textbooks open and read more about this stuff and really, really ring those bells and, uh, you know, sort of really uh, solidify that knowledge base when it comes to cellular metabolism and respiration. So that's it for this Monday Minutes. Again, I know this is a quick one. I know that uh, we really sort of just kind of glanced over things like the Krebs cycle and metabolism and, and cellular res uh, respiration. But again, I'm not trying to give you a full lecture, right? As always, these types of things are discussed in paramedic class in depth. You're talking about an hour-long presentation that might be on this type of uh, content, right? But we want to go ahead and just, again, give you the highlights, stuff you'll often see on an exam, and in the hopes, again, that you will go ahead and research, read more, and investigate more on this stuff if you don't really understand it 100% to make yourself more knowledgeable and a better clinician and, of course, a better test taker and give you that confidence walking into an exam. Next week, guys, we're going to start talking about uh, the tissues and um, start talking about the system, skeletal, skeletal system, muscular system, stuff like that. Okay, we're going to start getting to the next week as well when we talk about A&P, so I look forward to that. Um, and, of course, in the meantime, if you can't wait for all that information, you need to get a study guide now that includes these highlights, includes these really uh, key elements of what you might see on an exam and, and to sort of help you refresh your memory on these key elements. Go check out this EMS quick study guide over on the website. It really is the that meat and potatoes of an EMS course and a really great guide, guys, to use and review before an exam or as an overview of those terms or subjects that you might be having trouble with, okay? Sometimes you might be struggling with a specific a specific topic, and just by going and reviewing specific terms or subjects, it'll help you uh, remember that content and you know let you know where you need to go ahead and focus your studies on when you crack open that big textbook. Go check this out, guys, okay? Honestly, I have used this quick study guide myself on many, many EMS exams. I actually just took the FISDAP exam myself, used this quick study guide to help me refresh my memory on a lot of key elements on the FISDAP exam. And when I did that, I'm telling you, I scored about 10 points above the national average on the FISDAP. I'm not saying that to toot my own horn, I'm saying because I want you to know that this stuff works. All right, so go check it out, click here for details, get more information on that. Guys, if you have some Monday Minutes of your own, I would love to hear them. I'd love to make little Monday Minute videos here for you based on the content that you're struggling with in EMS. It doesn't have to be study help. It could be anything. It could be an operational issue. It could be a, a field type issue. Whatever it is, send them over to me. The email is contact at emsofficehours.com and I'd love to hear your comments and concerns. In the meantime, guys, give me some feedback on this stuff. Go below here at YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, go on a blog. If you're watching at emsofficehours.com, Leave me some comments, some likes, some shares, some tweets, whatever the case may be. Let me know that you are getting something from these videos, that you want to see more of it. You want to see them longer. You want to see them shorter. Whatever the case may be, I want your feedback. That's what drives me, motivates me to make this content better and more useful for you 
out there in the field. Okay, guys, as always, Jim Hoffman for EMS Office Hours and the Monday Minutes. Until next week, as always, stay safe.